I was fortunate enough to get to see Parasite finally. Bong Joo Ho's uh, modern masterpiece. Um, Damn you right. Had it, you had it in your top 15? Top 10? Ten. Jeez, for Eight, the I decade. Um, which is saying a lot for a movie that just came out. And you were like, yeah, I want to... I want to put this lower only because I haven't had the the time to really reflect on this and see if it has the lasting impact. But I think we are in your words. I'm happy to move it up higher. So <laughs> uh, it, it, this is, I mean, I think to say the least, um, definitely a modern classic and masterpiece. And the fact that we might in back to back years have a foreign film nominated for best picture is pretty remarkable because this film deserves it uh you know I, so i made it to the to a four fifteen showing on a friday and it's been out for a while now yeah i, I saw it in october in, yeah and uh so this is two months later i went in and the theater was pretty much packed i'd say three-fourths yeah. of the way packed um now i wasn't in like a small theater but that i'd say there probably was about 100 people there um wow. and uh you know the it probably helps that it's it's uh, near a lot of old people. So there were uh, the crowd was mostly old people, but still mm -hmm. people are coming to see this movie. And I left that theater with my girlfriend, and we talked about it for the next like three hours. Like we got dinner, we chatted about it, and it's a perfect film I think to see on a date with somebody because all you want to do afterwards is talk about all the different themes, the metaphors. Every single frame of this is just so like precise <laughs> you know you you've talked ad nauseum in our review and then in our a decade uh, all decade pod for best movies about how uh bong ju ho he doesn't tape any, he doesn't film anything besides what he needs yep. and he is so precise and puts so much thought into every single piece of this film it's it's truly like just a feat of filmmaking and uh I think of writing too, um, which this did just receive a best uh, screenplay, uh, not at the Golden Globes or whatever that's worth. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully a good sign for the Oscars. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, I, you, you've talked a lot about it. Now, now we get a chance to dig in a little deeper. What, what did you want to talk about when you reviewed that you thought, thought maybe it would be a, a good place to dig in here? Yeah. So when you start watching Parasite and once, um, the son in engenders himself to this wealthy family and kind of gets uh you know scams his way in right shout out tjx6 scam gang but then you realize he's gonna do with his whole family and then you watch that in amazing detail how that that comes to be like oh wait the family's all here fuck this is this is wild right take down the man right fuck the rich kind of shit and it, it's awesome. It's so thrilling the whole time. And you're like, oh, the parasites, I get it. And then you realize there's literally parasites in the fucking basement. Yep. And it completely plays off of that initial understanding of the title. And it continues to be just as thrilling. Like, it just fucking blew, blew my mind. Yeah. But from that moment when they're all there together and then they go into the basement uh, when the old housekeeper shows up, mm -hmm. it, it goes from being this movie where you're just kind of like, Oh, this is really interesting. Like these like schemers, like plotters. And then it becomes like something totally different. And there's so many more layers to everything yeah. that's going on. Um, and it, it starts being such a commentary on class, um, on wealth, the, mm -hmm. the corruption that wealth has on people, as well as I think the, the patterns that people are engendered to based on their own classism. I also thought, you know, um, I thought it was really funny at, at parts. Oh, and it God, was, yeah. Oh, my God. The, it was uh, today I went into work talking with my coworker and I was telling him I saw this movie and they were like, so how would you describe it? And it was funny because the first thing I said was it's very metaphorical. And I was like, oh, fuck. Like, that's what the guy says in the movie. But that's exactly <laughs> what... I, the word I would use to describe this is that there's so many metaphors at play. There's so much meaning packed into this movie. Um, yeah. And I, I've been debating it with, uh, you know, anyone 
I know that that's seen this, like the um, our interpretations of it, and that I think that's what makes elevates this movie so much is it goes from being just a really well-made movie to one that you just want to dissect, which is funny mm-hmm. to talk about a parasite in that sense. But um, yeah, it's, it's really amazing. It's definitely going to be top three for me for this year, for sure. Um, not sure if it'll be number one, but it's up there. Yeah. I mean, I, I loved uh, Song Kang Ho. He plays the dad. Yeah. He's uh, a regular in almost all of Bong's movies. Uh, he's incredible in this. And, you know, you spoke about your theater being packed. This movie's coming up on $20 million here in the States, already over 100 overseas. It's really impressive to see a, a foreign language movie actually do this well here, mm-hmm. which is awesome to see. Absolutely. Again, ultimately, it's, an, it's, it's a movie with Kore- it's in Korean with subtitles. And it's, it's long. That's in, inherently not for everyone. But I've really yet to meet anyone who's actually seen it that doesn't have isn't gushing with praise. Mm-hmm. And even just the filmmaking aspects, we've I think stated stated well enough that Bond's very precise with with his his scene construction. But there's also just amazing shots in general. Like I remember the race home in the rain. Oh my god! Where I I don't know if that was on a drone or what, but when we're kind of like a far away in that valley and they're running down the hill, it almost reminds you of some like landscape like video game action the way characters are platforming or something that 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 blew my mind um but the the tension is really maintained the whole time i think the way the shots are lined up really helps that and funny enough i mean the the, that was not a real house the house was just a series of two sets Mm -hmm. but you would not know it watching the movie no um yeah man i i mean fuck it's something that like i feel like as soon as people see it it kind of like consumes their, their thoughts for like the next day, you know, <laughs> yeah. just cause I, now I want to watch it again, knowing what happened just so I can really just lock in on everything mm-hmm. else. Because the first time you watch it, once the reveal happens and you, I think you're just kind of on the roller coaster at that point, because again, it's a, it's a black comedy, but it's also a thriller. Yep. So, yeah. 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 Uh, really not enough good things to say. And it, and it is thrilling for sure. Um, what one part I wanted to debate with you because I was having this discussion with with my girlfriend, um, her fiance now. <laughs> she, we we were talking about at the end when uh, spoilers at this point. If if you're watching and haven't watched Parasite, I'd say turn it off, go, come back when you can. Um, when they're at that party at the end and the the parasite from the basement has been stabbed with the the shish kebab sword. You know, right. and the the dad, the rich dad, is reaching down for the keys, and he's he's like doing the smell. Well, how how do you think, or what do you think was going through the 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 poor dad's mind? What do you think? Were, were was he offended because he was being he smelled just like this other person smelled that he thought was lower than him? Did you did you take that as um, he was like angry with the dad for um, not? like not being able to get his own hands dirty. Like I've seen a lot of interpretations of that. that Huh? Mm, I hadn't noticed the the smell part, you know, when I, I, I I think I just read that as he was, he saw the true, the true classism Mm -hmm. and knew that they would never be accepted. And when you literally see in that where like this rich guy doesn't want to save this poor person, he's only worried about saving his, own next of kin who happens to be wealthy i think that's what i saw there yeah but again i like to see it again just so now that i can try i have the action trapped in my mind i can just kind of focus more on the themes um yeah yeah i didn't even realize that was a a, a scene that was being uh, examined that way yeah well it it may not be that was something i was i was definitely debating uh, and i was left thinking about a lot just because that that scene also there's so much heaviness to um with how the, the the poor dad and the rich dad are talking about love in relationships and right. kind of how that plays out um, between the two uh, the two classes, I guess, is the commentary. There's just so much to dig, to dig into. I feel like we could do like a whole hour-long podcast just dissecting this movie. And who knows, maybe in the future we will.